It is October. Summer flowers are well past their sell-by date and autumn has arrived at Westenburg. This National Arboretum is one of the world's finest collections of trees and shrubs with over 18,000 listed specimens spread over 60 acres. Started by Robert Holford in 1829, the Arboretum remained in the Holford family for 130 years, but then passed to the Forestry Commission who still manage it today. Come and wander at your leisure along any of the 17 miles of pathways which lead you through this charming landscape. Autumn is a time of spectacular leaf colours throughout the Arboretum, which is unrivalled in Britain and attracts thousands of visitors from all over the world. Falling temperatures and shortening days provide the triggers for deciduous trees to begin the process of shutting down for winter, and the results can be seen from space, with a band of colour advancing southwards from the Arctic towards the tropics at a rate of 60 kilometres a day and it is estimated that in just a few weeks 300 million tonnes of chlorophyll are destroyed. This group of visitors are reading a notice about the varnish tree, the gum from which is used by the Chinese as a varnish and dates back to the first century AD. The winged spindle tree is a native of Japan and China and is so called because its wood was used for making spindles for spinning yarn, whilst its pink berries, when dried and powdered, can be used to clear head lice. The ornamental vine adds a splash of colour as it runs rampant over several conifers. The red oak, whose leaves are more brown than red, Japanese acers were first planted in 1875 by George Holford, who was the son of Robert, and he continued planting for the next 15 years. Acers were cultivated in Japan from 1603 to 1867, but many types were destroyed during the Second World War, being used for firewood. Then in the 1960s, they achieved a recovery, and now over 400 different varieties exist. Aces were first introduced to Britain during the 17th century, and in 1656 they were being cultivated by the gardener to Charles II. The Cotoniaster frigidus provides the birds with a rich harvest of red berries to see them through the winter. The white flowers of the Arbutus nido is a native of the Mediterranean. This is the yellow-berried yew. One native tree to provide colour is the beech, but it is under threat from global warming and also the grey squirrel who strip young trees of their bark. Now we have the paper bark maple. The dawn redwood is a conifer, but it has a deciduous habit the brown red leaves on the scarlet oak. The entrance to Acer Glade was planted in the 1960s by the Forestry Commission. A close-up of Acer palmatum cagero. There are many Acer specimens to be viewed. This one is Acer palmatum, also kazuki. Now we have a general view of Acer Glade. Another sample of Osa Kazuki, while this one is the coral bark maple. This acer is called Silver Vein, as you can see from its trunk where it gets its name. Acer Palmatum Matsurumari. These are the last of the acers and it brings to the end our visit to Western Burt Arboretum to see the autumn colours. The red berries of the holly means that winter is just around the corner with that Christmas card bird, the robin. <laughs>